What is hot mud or really any kind of joint compound with a quick drying time? This one is rated at 20 minutes. You can go 45 minutes or you can go as quick as five minutes. Typical drywall compound can take one to more days to dry depending on the temperature and humidity. But if you want a quick repair, do it all in one day, not have to have return trips to save you time and money. Hot mud is the way to go. You do want to just get some of the loose Loose areas off, this is pet damage, dog damage probably. So to mix this up, the manufacturer recommends mechanical mixing. If you were doing a really small patch, you could mix it by hand. Um, here we're going to use a paint uh, mixer in our drill. You definitely want from the paint department, if you have something that's overly aggressive, if they'll chip up your pail and you'll have plastic flakes in your mud. So the manufacturer recommends for the first mixture to have a little bit stiffer than you will normally use and then you're going to let it set for one minute per the manufacturer's instructions, let that water absorb. You're going to come back and add a little bit more water and do a second mix. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. You want the consistency of peanut butter or maybe you've heard thick yogurt. Whatever you're happy with, as long as it's thick enough, uh, but still uh, trowelable onto the wall. I'm gonna start with a six inch knife. All right, let's start by filling that indentation right there. That was the low spot. the low spot we'll get some extra mud in there first okay now let's switch to a wider knife to feather this out a little bit nicer so we got a fan on it now to help with the drying process you can see when the mud is wet, it's gray in color. And then as it dries, it turns white in color. Um, and you want to sand when you're convinced it's dry. The nice thing about this fast mud is if you have to come back for a second coat to smooth everything out, it's not costing you that much of your time. And then of course, remember when you prime and paint uh, to always do the primer first. Mud always needs primer before paint. I bet you can do it yourself.